So you want to start investing into the stock market, but you have absolutely no money available. Don't you worry. In this video, I'll give you five options on how to make money from home. Don't expect a get rich quick video because that's not it. Before I start, this video is inspired by a conversation I had the other day in my driveway. It's a conversation I had with somebody I know because they come regularly to the house. It's not one of those TikToks where, you know, a random person shows up to a house and says, hey, what do you do for a living? And then they're like, oh yeah, I do this. So it's not one of those. So this someone asked me what I do for a living. When I mentioned investing and trading as one of my income sources, his eyes opened up wide, full of excitement. He told me that he started day trading as well and he was super excited about it, but he already lost 50% of his initial investment. He simply fell for one of those get rich quick schemes and you know, invested in a random coin and was hoping to wake up to a million dollars in his bank account. Obviously that's not possible. When I asked him, what his investment budget was, he said $150. I then asked him if he wants to hear my advice. And when he said yes, I said the following. Instead of yoloing $150 into the crypto market, which could be gone tomorrow, why don't you save up $3,000 first and then make solid investments into the stock market where you can use the $3,000 and make a consistent income with. He immediately cut me off and said that would take him years. I then asked him if he was ready to make some sacrifices of his current lifestyle choices that he made to just speed up the process and make money in the near future. He looked confused. So I just mentioned a couple of the entertainment subscriptions that most of us have like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, HBO, the list goes on. He nodded, but he already had another excuse for me. At this point, I knew this conversation isn't going anywhere. So I told him as soon as he's ready to make some sacrifices or make some changes, he can come back to me and talk to me again. So let's start with this video. Number zero, actually cut down on expenses. Yeah, I know that's not really an income source, but if you have a bucket full of holes, you should probably fix the holes first before you pour more water into it. So if you're struggling to save up money, which you can then use to invest into the stock market or crypto market, look at unnecessary expenses first. Unnecessary expenses are a Netflix subscription because you don't have to watch movies every night. What subscription services do you currently have that you do not need? Cut them all. Yes, all of them. Not forever, but just for a little while. You can subscribe to them back later when you have the money to do so. Same goes for dining out or ordering food. Instead of wasting $100 on dinner, just spend the entire $100 on grocery shopping and then you have food for an entire week. A quick story, when I first moved to the United States, I lived on oatmeal, rice, beans, broccoli and tofu. That's all I ate. So when I first moved to the States, I was not allowed to work and therefore, I wasn't allowed to make money. So instead of ordering food, I would just go grocery shop and get the massive big bag of rice and oatmeal. And that's what I ate every single day. All right, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about and you understand the point I'm trying to make here. Let's take it the first thing you can do from home to make money. Fiverr, I am 100% convinced that you, yeah you, have some talent, some skills that you can use to make money online. Are you good at Photoshop, video editing, After Effects, logo design, perfect. You can sell those skills on Fiverr. Go to Fiverr, create an account, and then look at what other people charge for services that you can do as well. Showcase your own talent, be it like Photoshop or video editing, After Effects, logo designs, whatever it is, showcase that on your page so people know exactly what they can get. But if you're not good at any of these, don't worry. People are in need of a lot of things that they can't do themselves. Do you have a beautiful voice? How about voiceover? Are you good at writing? How about you write some blog articles for people who aren't as eloquent as you are? Are you good at graphic design? Why don't you create emojis and templates for streamers? The list is endless here. Just go through their website. Literally any skill you have, I'm pretty sure that you find it and you can sell it online. But like I said in the beginning of this video, you have to put in the work because otherwise you won't make money. Get out of your comfort zone and show the world what you can do. Use your passion and your talent to make money online. Number two, stock images. If you love taking pictures, if you're really good photographer and you just have beautiful pictures of like nature or animals or whatever it is, why don't you sign up to a website like Shutterstock, upload your images and make them available for sale. Obviously those pictures need to be high quality and it can't just be like an iPhone picture of like you, I am a photographer, this is a can, buy it. Nobody will do that. But if it's high quality images that people can use for their websites or anything else, they will pay money to get the rights to do so. The beautiful thing about this income source is that it's kind of semi-passive because you put in the work once and then you put them online and they will generate income for 
years. This gives you more time to do other jobs on Fiverr, for example. You can do the exact same thing with product shots, drone shots. I mean, again, the list is endless. Number three, virtual assistant. Depending on your skill level, you can find jobs that pay you between 10 and $30 an hour. I'm serious. I did the research for you. This right here is an actual job offer for 17 to $20 an hour. Work from home. I mean, this search took me 30 seconds. As a virtual assistant, you will have a lot of different tasks. Like I said, depending on your skill level, I'm pretty sure you will find one that suits you perfectly. Some of the tasks include email management, calendar management, social media management, data entry, or even event planning. Some of those jobs don't even require a specific time frame, which means you can work whenever you want, as long as the work is done. 150 hours later, boom. $3,000 pre-tax. Number four, Skillshare. As you can see, I really believe in you and your talents. I know you got something that people need. This could be knowledge, a passion you're really good at, literally anything you can think of, like solving a Rubik's Cube. Don't believe me? Look at this. Mike made a 33 minute video on how to solve a Rubik's Cube and has over 10,000 students. So if you have the same skill, don't expect to get 10,000 students because that already exists. Be creative, look through Skillshare, see if your talent, your passion, your knowledge is already on there. And if not, boom, that's your chance. Last but not least, sell stuff that you don't use or don't need anymore. This one doesn't have to do with skill or talent at all. I just know that you have money laying around somewhere in your apartment or your house that you don't even know of. You have old skis that you don't use anymore? $50. You have an old skateboard in good condition? $10. You got clothes you don't wear anymore? Boom! $100. Literally anything you don't need anymore, which is still in good condition, you can sell online. Everybody has clothes, toys, gaming consoles, furniture, even furniture, anything you have at home that you don't want anymore that's still in good condition, you can sell to someone else. So instead of throwing it away, why don't you try to sell it online even for a fraction for what you actually paid for it? I am sure with these six or actually five income sources, you will be able to generate $3,000 within a month or even two months, three months, doesn't matter how long it takes you, but within, let's just say six months, you will have $3,000 ready to invest into the stock market, crypto market, whatever you want to invest in. I keep saying $3,000 as if it was a magic number. It's not. So you can start way sooner, but I personally love selling options which create premiums for me, which is just another income source. I give you an example. If you sold a one month put on NEO, you can generate above 1% on that specific contract. And that's not bad at all. 1% per month is, in my opinion, really good. But this is not an options trading video. So if you want to get more information, I have a bunch of free content on my YouTube channel and I post my weekly options that I sell on my Patreon as well. As always, I appreciate your time and I wish you all the best for your journey. Have a great day.